Coming up in this episode of TPW Weekly, I'll be talking all about The Walking Dead The Ride coming to Thorpe Park this Easter. Along with that, a new ride coming to Breen Theme Park, construction updates from three brand new roller coasters in Europe opening this year, and also an announcement on a brand new triple launch coaster coming to Bobby Ann Land over in Belgium. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is TPW Weekly, and that means it's time to cue those titles. It's Wednesday the 28th of February 2018 and welcome to this week's video. It's been a busy one for us at Theme Park Worldwide. From Monday to Friday last week we went out to Disneyland Paris. Uh, had a great time out there. It was busy at the parks though. It was also very cold meaning that it was quite a bit of ride downtime. Uh, we had a great time so make sure you check out the day one vlog and the travel vlog uh, that are both now online. The day two vlog will be coming in the next few days along with a completely random video that I didn't expect to be filming. I went into the centre of Paris to do some of the sites such as the Eiffel Tower, Art de Triumph, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and see the construction of this new Gerslauer coaster that's been built at a park right in the middle of Paris. Uh, so I went to see it, and the park was open. I paid two euros to get in, and I thought, you know what, why not I'll go and have a closer look? Uh, so yeah, I've got a full vlog from there, uh, had a little walk around, see what rides there is, and also have a look at the construction of the new coaster. Uh, so make sure you watch that when it comes online in the next few days. Lots has gone on then this week, so it's time for the weekly news roundup. Now last week Thought Park announced that they were going to be re-theming their indoor roller coaster that used to be known as X No Way Out. Now a couple of years ago it was completely rebranded into just X. It has a new soundtrack, it had new lighting and they also upgraded the queue line and some of the special effects around there as well. Uh, however that's completely changing for 2018. Uh, so located right in the centre of the island you'll be able to navigate your way uh, to the safety of the indoor bunker. Uh, but be warned, all signs point to an imminent invasion of walkers so keep your head down and move quickly for your best chance of staying alive sounds good that's been taken directly from the park's website it's going to be a completely immersive ride experience with special effects and also theming uh, so this is a bit of a surprise really i mean a lot of people thought it was going to be vr myself included i thought that was definitely a possibility uh, but now it is going to be a, a physical ride with set pieces uh, and special effects so i'm looking forward to that one another quote that i've got here from the ride designer uh, they're combining physical and digital effects uh, because it's going to be dark so we're going to make the most of that uh, to me that assumes that we're going to be seeing some screens and things with bits of theming around it so that'll be uh, an interesting uh, thing to see once this is complete uh, the experience does not stop when you get off the ride the whole experience from the point you join the queue is going to be immense so there you go that's the walking dead the ride uh, opening this easter not too sure on the walking dead the ride i think it would have probably just been better as the walking dead ride uh, because uh, you got the in there twice. Uh, but there we go, nonetheless, it's a new experience coming to Thorpe Park, all part of a big thing they're doing this year with The Walking Dead. You've got all sorts going on there, loads of different special events and things throughout the year. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll be down there just after this opens uh, to go and see what it's like. Another new ride then coming to the UK theme park industry in 2018 is at Breen Theme Park. Now I am going to be visiting there this year and filming a vlog. I've never actually done a vlog on the channel from Breen. I did go there, I used to stay, there's a caravan park right next door and I used to stay there as a kid so I remember going to Breen quite a lot. Uh, so it's been maybe six or seven years since I last went. Uh, so I look forward to going there, filming a vlog, seeing all the rides and of course getting to see Air Max. Uh, it's a new spinning flat ride uh, that's going to be opening this year. It will accommodate 16 riders at a time, it'll pull a g-force of 4.5 and it's going to be 20 metres tall. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing this one in action along with experiencing the rest of the attractions at Breen Theme Park. Now as the time gets even closer for us to ride the two brand new roller coasters in the UK this year, the excitement is certainly building for both Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Wicker Man at Alton Towers. Uh, this week Alton Towers actually released a new video, it's only a short one, but it shows that 60 foot tall Wicker Man theming structure with the fire effects and also a look at the train that passes through it on three different occasions as well. I must say Alton Towers have done a fantastic job with this and seeing the construction of this ride all throughout last season uh, 
it was incredible, it really was. And this massive 60 foot tall female structure does look incredible in person. Uh, here we go, I'll show you the video now that Alton Towers released just a few days ago uh, on their YouTube channel. So there we go, Wicker Man at Alton Towers. Doesn't it look incredible as an overall experience? We know it's not gonna be one of the longest wooden roller coasters out there, uh, but in terms of an overall product, an overall experience with the theming, we know the station building's gonna have some good theming as well, there's a pre-show, you know, it's all very exciting stuff. And as an overall package, this ride is gonna be a really, really good addition uh, to Alton Towers and generally UK theme parks. Uh, so I can't wait for it. In terms of the ride opening, uh, now we know it's been testing, obviously we've seen the footage. We also know that staff rides have taken place uh, over the past couple of weeks and staff training is ongoing at the moment. Uh, but the park are still saying spring 2018 for Wicker Man opening. Uh, now obviously the park opens in just a few weeks time on March the 17th. I'll be very surprised if Wicker Man doesn't open on March the 17th. Now obviously that's not confirmed yet by the park but I would presume if all goes well uh, with the rest of the staff training uh, then we're going to be riding this coaster in a few weeks time. So it is very exciting and look forward to hearing an official announcement from the park hopefully in the next couple of weeks about the ride opening. Uh, but there we go. Another new exciting roller coaster has been announced for Europe and that's going to be opening in 2019 at Bobby Ann Land over in Belgium. Uh, this is actually going to be the largest investment in the history of the park and this new area is going to cover more than two hectares. Uh, so it's a big new themed area that's going to incorporate a couple of other attractions that already exist as well. Uh, you've got Typhoon which is the Gerstai Eurofighter and you've also got Sledgehammer as well a flat ride there uh, that will also be a part of this new area so they'll be incorporated into it and then you'll have the highlight of the, of the area and also a new flagship ride for the park a triple launch coaster from Gerstlauer. Now this was only announced yesterday we don't know many details about it at the moment uh, but it's certainly a much needed attraction for the park. I went to Bobby Anland last year uh, we had a good time and enjoyed it but it certainly lacked a major coaster uh, so this would be a really welcome addition there I look forward to seeing it and I'll definitely go out out there next year uh, as you go and ride this one and share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, part of a new ride and a new uh, new area coming for 2019 at Bobby Online. Very exciting. Let us know down below in the comments. Have you been to the park? What are your thoughts on it? And what do you think this new ride is going to be like? I look forward to seeing uh, what you guys think to that one. Finally then, let's talk about three of the new coasters opening in 2018 in mainland Europe, um, which is all very exciting. Let's have a look at the construction then uh, from these, a little update for you. Firstly, we've got Hyperion, it's Energylandia in Poland. Uh, now this is progressing really slowly in my opinion. A little bit of track's been done, but not much at all. I'd probably say maybe 15% of the track uh, has been complete, if that. Uh, so if that's going to be ready for this summer, they're going to have to uh, speed up quite a bit with that one. It's going to be a huge new roller coaster uh, from Intamin. Uh, but there we go, that's Hyperion at Energylandia. And there's a look at the construction so far, taken from their Facebook page. Phoenix uh, comes as part of a new themed area at Toverland. You've got the new entrance, and of course you've got uh, Avalon, which is where Phoenix is as well. Uh, now again here, construction seems to be progressing okay, but not really fast at all. They're more focusing on the buildings and things at the moment. Obviously we know that B&M coasters traditionally go up really quick, so I don't think there's anything to worry about with this one. We know it's supposed to be open at the start of July. There's still a good few months until this opens, so hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, they'll soon start to speed up, and once the coaster starts going up, it'll be great, because uh, the station of things is in, but you've still got the lift deal and the actual main part of the coaster itself to go up. So there we go, that's Phoenix at Tokyo. Overland and a couple of images there taken from their official website where they're always updating it uh, with the construction. It's well worth checking out. Finally then we'll talk about Valkyria at Lisberg in Sweden. Now this one started off really slow and then it suddenly started to speed up. I mean the lift only went up a couple of weeks ago uh, and then bam the rest of the layout's nearly done. It's only really the, the drop and the, and the first inversion which is an element uh, what needs to go up so that's actually progressed a lot over the past few weeks. I remember thinking before Christmas 
God, not much has really been done here. And then all of a sudden, it's just got to the stage it has now. So there you go. That's just some of the construction taking place in Europe so far. It really is very exciting. I can't wait for all these new coasters to open. Uh, I look forward to experiencing all three of those at some point during 2018. It's now time for Merch Paradise. all and welcome to Merge Paradise. I'll stop the accent now. Uh, but here we go. Yes, so I've got this item here, which is actually a hat from Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, which is in Disney Village at Disneyland Paris. Now, it's a really good show, and you also get food and things included in the price. I mean, it is quite expensive to go and see it, uh, but it's well worth it for what you get. You've got, like, all live animals and horses and stuff in the show, and it is really enjoyable. But you also get this free piece of commemorative merch. You can't buy these anywhere in Disneyland Paris. You have to go and watch the show, which makes it quite a, a unique item if you like so I thought I'd share this with you guys uh, from Buffalo Bill's Wild West show it's got Disneyland Paris on the back just there uh, it says on there the front dinner show spectacular with Mickey and friends as well so it's just a nice commemorative thing I mean I know this costs the park hardly anything I mean it's Disney I know they're not really short on money um, but I just think it's quite a nice thing that they do giving you a hat obviously you can wear it in the show you put it on and get involved with all the interaction and things so there you go yeah if you want to get one of these you can't buy them at Disneyland Paris you have to go and watch Buffalo Bill's Bill's Wild West Show in the Disney Village. It's time for the final segment of TPW Weekly. It is, of course, Interact With Me. Now, if you want to send in a photo, a birthday shout-out, or a special occasion shout-out for next week's video, all you need to do is message them to us on Facebook via Theme Park Worldwide and also on our official Instagram as well. Uh, however, if you are sending them via Instagram, please don't put them in your story and tag us in it. Uh, make sure you send it actually as a direct message. It just means that if you send it into, via the story, uh, we get a really small image and it doesn't look as good when we put it in the video for you guys so make sure you send us an actual message uh, so we get a better resolution so we can put it in uh, the video and you can get to see yourselves in a lot better quality uh, but yes here we go let's have a look at what you guys want to be shared this week so first we've got Kyle who had a photo at Walt Disney World thanks for sharing that one we then got Aaron with an ultimate on ride photo there from Lightwater Valley Next up we've got Leighton who had a photo there with me. It was great to meet you. Next up there's Joe who had a group photo with us all at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Then we've got Joe who had a photo there with me, so thanks for sharing that one. Next up we've got Sam who also had a photo there with me as well, so thanks for sending that one in. We've got Ella and a friend uh, with Harry there as well. Harry Turnstiles working hard, but not on the turnstiles there. He's had his eye vis on. Uh, but there we are. Thanks for sending them that one. I'm glad you got to meet Harry at Alton Towers. Uh, next up, we've got Leanne, who had a photo there with me. Lovely to meet you. And then we've got Layla, who had a photo with me as well. Thanks for sharing that one. Next up, we've got Connor with a Nemesis on ride photo from Alton Towers. Thanks for sending that one in. We've then got Erin with a Hulk on ride photo from Islands of Adventure. Thank you for sharing it with us. Moving on then, we've got Ben with a selection of Walt Disney Studios merchandise. So thanks for sharing that one with us. Next up we've got Blue Jesus uh, with a lanyard and pin collection. So thanks for sending that one in to TBW Weekly. Moving on, we've got Cameron, who's got a teddy here from Breen Theme Park. Thanks for sharing that one with us. And finally, a couple of birthdays. A big happy birthday to Joel, and also a big happy birthday to Helen from all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll be back next Wednesday with another episode of TPW Weekly. I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys.